Oh yeah, Scott, you got to get my headphones working. This isn't going to do it. My headphones aren't working. And then I got to yell at Scott. Why? Because he's shirking his responsibilities, making my life difficult. <laughs> he's the only one making my life difficult right now. What could Scott be shirking? See? You don't know everything that goes on around here. It's still a few mysteries. <laughs> um, no. What happens is, you know when, when I get on the air and it says, we're back with the Howard Stern Show and there's little music bumpers? Yes. I have Ralph pull a lot of the music for that. And every time Ralph goes back to Scott and says, uh, Scott, I, you know, do you want to work on the bumpers? He goes, no. So then Ralph brings it to Gary. Gary calls Scott. Scott says he's busy. And it's a high priority with me. For some reason, because Ralph's involved and Gary's involved, Scott doesn't take it and roll with it. He just won't. For a month now, he hasn't touched the bumpers. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it goes round and round, bands in between Scott and yeah. Gary and Yeah, so I have Ralph a problem. No work again. Yeah, I have a problem. Oh, call him in here then. Yeah. Let's and I don't know how to get Scott to take me seriously. I, I mean, who does he think he should listen to? No. There's, a, there's a whole bunch on Ralph. Real. Come in here. There's a whole bunch of them that are done. Yeah. On real, but Ralph said, "Wait till I bring in more music because That's, those are a lot of the same." Is that true, Ralph? There's a whole bunch of them done on real, and you said, "Wait till I bring in more music." No. What, what what's done on real? All of this stuff that you gave me is done. But you said you didn't want them put on cart because they were all like the same artists, and you wanted to vary the stuff. Scott, no, no, you, no, no, that's not true. Okay. What, what are you saying happened? Listen, oh, wait, I got to get wait. this straightened out, and I what want you, Fafa Fui in charge of it. Again, Fafa Fui is not, is not in charge of these things. Scott, yeah. I, I don't know. All I know is every time that I ask you to do it or try, and I'm nice about it, too. I mean, I don't know how to get it done. I ask, I've asked Gary. Those are all done. All, everything all the, you've how given about, is how done. How about all those CDs? I thought you said he yells every, at you each everything time. Everything you've given No, I didn't done. say each time. Once he's got, I went in there to ask Scott something. It, I don't know. Oh, here's the, the situation It was a bad scene. It was well, a let me bad. hear Ralph first, and then you tell me. You walk in, and it was a bad scene. How was I, it? I don't remember exactly why, but I asked him something, and like he had this music cranked up, and I couldn't even... I, you know, I'm talking to him. You know, when somebody starts talking, you expect him to lower the thing. So, and I'm trying to yell over. I can't hear it. I'm like, I'm like, Jesus, Scott, you won't even lower the music. And I just like walked out. And then Scott, Scott starts screaming. And I mean, it freaked me out because I've never seen Scott. Like, I'm red in the face and screaming at Screaming me. about what? Okay, now you want to hear my story? Yeah. I'm working on Best Of in there. He walks in and I'm listening to it because I got to listen to it. Come quickly. in here, Gary. I got to have you working on this. Don't walk out of I here. Got- this is your responsibility. Why are these two interfacing? Well, Scott's going to explain it in a second, but Ralph came to me like a month ago and I spoke to Scott and Scott said everything was fine. Ralph hadn't come back to me, told me there was a problem. I didn't know there was a problem. Ralph, got- Ralph sits there with a blow dryer. It, I'm trying to read the newspaper and I say to him, "Where? why are the bumpers not changing? And he starts saying, well, well, Scott yelled at me and... Uh, uh, and now I don't know. I don't know. What is the story? Stop, 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 Why do stop, I just stop, all stop, I know stop, is stop, I don't hear new bumpers. What about what about all those CDs? I borrowed some CDs from They're Scott. Why do you feel, here's my problem with you, Ralph? Why do you fill my head with stories back there? And then when you get on the air, you got no story. What do you, What do you mean, Phil? You where just, are the bumpers? I, Scott doesn't do them. You picked out the CDs. You did me a favor and picked out the CDs. Yes. And then every, what and, happens? And every time I go to did I tell you to give them to Gary? What you are supposed to give them to Gary? And Gary should work with Scott. No, I've been giving him to Scott. You've been giving them to Scott. Yeah. Well, I, evidently wait, wait, wait. you know you and Scott, Scott has a problem dealing with people. True. True? Am I right? True. From what I understand, I, I've never experienced it with you. But anyone who's perceived by Scott as uh, not important or an underling, that would be John Grillo and Ralph. <laughs> right. If anyone brings, it depends on who brings him to work. Scott, do you physically want me to bring you? No. I want to get these bumpers the in here. The work's done. Wait, 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 Sandy. So what, so what am I supposed to do? Find, look for Sandy? I see her no, no, once no, no, every no. month. Scott, Scott, Scott. Well, Ralph's doing me a favor. He's right. lending his CDs to me so that I can create bumpers. Right. 
You get the CDs, you dub off the music, you uh -huh. 10 seconds or 20 seconds of music, and then you give them back to Ralph because they're his CDs. I don't care who does If Sandy does it, why does Ralph need to know who's doing it? What's the difference? How does that help him? Uh, yeah. And Gary, where are because you? He likes, to, he likes to sit there and make sure that everything is perfect. As well, he should. That? As well, so, he should. So, fine. Got, so he knows. He's one guy I got that actually knows what he's doing. So fine. So he knows that when I'm busy and I'm doing. I wish all the people who work for me would sit there and, and, and worry about it. He's doing it for free. <laughs> <laughs> they Ralph might be a turd, but he's doing it for free. I got to admire that. So Free. what's the problem, Scott? You don't have the time to do this? He says he did it. They're all done. I said those were done. And but he, he was about to say wait, something wait, wait, like, wait, wait, Ralph wait, wants wait. to sit there, and when he's wait, wait, busy wait, wait. doing something. Th these are done, and I told you what he told me. He said, don't use, all, don't use these because I have to bring in more stuff because there are like three artists, and there's like like three cuts from each artist, and they're I, all the I, same. I, I, know, I know what he's talking about. I gave him like some CDs of some old songs, and you don't want to... But like so, Ralph, so if you're telling him not to put no, it on the no, air, no, 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 Scott's just saying that to, to weasel out of this because right. you know that's just an. Ex I told well, him with a couple, of, of a couple of the CDs. I told him, you know, just use one or two songs and save them for later, and then we'll mix some more in, so they're not all like no, oh, the way the, the way that's remedied is Scott can put them on a rotating card so that they're separated. Here's a big question. Right. When yeah. was the last time you, Ralph, asked Scott? To no, here's work my on question. This? I, I'm going to cut through all the questions because I'm getting bored. You understand? When it's, I get bored, yeah, there's a problem. It shouldn't be such a big problem. Here's the deal. I want this done. It's very important because I'm sitting and listening to the same songs every day and i got to figure my audience is. I like new. It, it sounds fresh. I like everything fresh. Fine. So, Could I finish the other story? From now on, I, Gary, now you have to supervise. Bop, bop, flunky. But, Unless Scott can handle this. But how would I have been? Ralph came to me and he, and he told me there was a problem. I went to Scott. Yeah. Scott goes, all right, I'm going to work on him. That was a month ago. And nothing and new. Nobody followed, no, Ralph didn't come back and say it's been a problem anymore. Now, I have this discussion on the air, and then I'll get a whole bunch of new ones, and then it'll be another month. Because if Ralph, came, if Ralph came to me again, no, if Ralph came to me again. It's a recurrent problem. What? It's, it's, it's always a problem. It's a recurrent problem. And then I have to have this discussion How on the air. How often would you like the bumpers changed? I would like the bumpers changed on a regular basis. Keep like them coming every in. Every month, you'd like a whole new rotation? Yeah, or just keep. When Whenever he's got a new song, throw it in. Throw it into the rotation. It doesn't have to ha it, could, it could happen every Let two weeks. Let me ask you something, though, because yeah. what would happen if, suppose there's no new song yeah. in that week. We've had a whole year's worth of bumpers. Yes. Couldn't they rotate some of the, just freshen them up every yeah, month? I don't know what happens. I don't know what happened to some of the old ones. I don't Fred know. has everything. I mean, everything do we do. Do you play them all, Fred? We sure, give I them. do. You do? Yeah. All right. He doesn't. You, you, you know what it is? We have them so much, and you get tired of them. You get tired yeah, of that new, listen, listen, And then we had new ones. This is already seven minutes too long. Right. I need you guys working together back there. <laughs> and I can't have this discussion every month. Ralph is being nice. I understand. By bringing his CDs in and sitting there. But then again, as soon as Ralph gets a little power, he becomes a pain in the ass. <laughs> so you can't allow that to happen either. I can't have him bugging you every three minutes like now this is the most important thing in his life. Right. But you've got. I got to somehow, Scott, get through to you that this is a high priority. Well, maybe me. I misunderstood on that. Uh, he said, "Do them." Yeah, don't well, listen don't. to him. Okay. And Fafa Fui, I want you checking every four days to find out what's going on with bumpers. Right on your calendar. Oh, Do you have a calendar? Of oh, course. Every fourth day, write down. Oh. I want to know what's going on with the bumpers. Whatever happened to that uh, efficiency expert? Aha. Uh -huh. The efficiency expert. That's a good question. He quit. He listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> he did call me the other the day. The efficiency expert uh -huh. came in here, evaluated everyone. He was here for two days, right? We're supposed to write up a report. We can't. We couldn't get him on the phone. He's inefficient. He's inefficient. <laughs> he, he called me about a he week. He came ago. to see us and he became inefficient. He, he gone, we should have the report like a, about six weeks ago. He came. Yeah. He called me about three days ago, and he said, "Hey, I, I've been busy with paying customers." Yeah, right. I also think what happened was. That like he came up here and I thought he th thought he was gonna get on the air more and stuff. You know what I mean? It, it actually he became, was on the air uh, enough. Yeah. I thought. I don't know. I don't know what was happening there. Yeah. I think he thought he was gonna be meeting with me on a regular basis. Oh, I and, see. He thought yeah. he'd have a client. Yeah. Relationship with you. Well, see, this seems this sounds to me like one of those organize, organizational problems. Of course, I have and all organizational problems. The problem problems. again is no leader. Right. No, no, no it's one but Howard, really responsible. Well, you have for Gary. It's not an organizational sure. problem. Yes, it's it a is. Scott problem. No, you want to hear my no. problem? This is what I would say right <laughs> wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, wait. time out. As much as I hate to defend Ralph, in this instance, uh. he's right. Scott 
doesn't He's respect belligerent. him. When I Ralph goes what to saying. him, Scott should say, I'll do that, or I'll get back to you in two or three days and let's do them. Because when I need something done, Scott will seek me out. He'll say, I know you want to do that today, you know but let's do it. We've already had, you know what? Okay. Gary's already had this discussion it? 20 times with Scott. What, oh, we, oh, what oh, you on. would do is fire Scott. That hey. would be the next logical step. <laughs> Go ahead, fire But him. Gary can't fire him. No, but if, Go ahead. If, if Ralph, Don't do it. Can we fire you? All right, you're fired. Thank you. Good night. All right, goodbye. You can go home now. It's that simple? We're allowed to fire you? All right, goodbye. Ooh. Wow. Scott, walking out. Good. Is that, is that how easy it is to get rid of Scott? No, unfortunately, anywhere. he knows there's a union involved I'm in everything. My yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he's going to write a grievance. Once the union gets involved, <laughs> right. I'll be safe. What you really have to start doing, if you need to know, is you have to yeah. start writing letters and putting them in his file. Then after Do a me a year favor, and a half. Get in touch with that guy, Buzz, that I used to work with at NBC. He fired and get him to replace Scott. Dude, where is that guy? Go where is Buzz? Yeah, where is Buzz? What else might be? Is he? Uh, I was yeah. fired, wasn't I? Busy Buzz. Well, busy is, that, buzz. is that a legitimate firing? <laughs> you tell me. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not even going to go home, so I guess so. So, so now Scott's officially gone? No, <laughs> he's, he's not. officially out of this room. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's gone from the chair. But uh, <laughs> but but I, I just fired him. I believe I believe we're looking at the beginning of a work slowdown. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> if he goes any slower, are you going to call the union? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to call anybody. <laughs> he's any I'm slower, call, actually, turn the clocks back. Maybe a racing backwards. tape. Yeah. So it's what do you think you're going to do next? 1949. <laughs> 1948. <laughs> Listen, man, I've got to get these better. bumpers on. Scott's just got to be forced to do it, and Gary's no. just going to have to ride him. Yeah, I, don't don't I don't work for the show anymore, and you can't use my material because I'm fired. Yeah, it's just like, and you don't can't you use hear the same music? Uh, don't you, am I the only oh, one who hears it? Am I the only one listening to the show? No, of course. I mean, where is everybody on this? Let's, let's get together. All, all right, come, come on, people, people now. now. Smile on your brother, everybody <laughs> get together. And I, you know what? Scott's the problem is I do it on the air and it becomes like a joke it's and Scott joke, walks out and all that. Actually, but I really need it done. Actually, when you do it on the air, Scott realizes because he just never believes. Is Ganji taping Scott right now? I sure I hope so, that lazy, How's fat bastard. <laughs> He taped him again. Yes. It was sad when you got fired. So oh, what's this firing thing? No so what's this firing thing all about? Scott, get out of here. How's it going? It's real funny. I was watching the E! Show last night. Christopher yeah. Cross was on. Hmm. So Gandhi follows him out and he goes, So, did you have a good time? Which is just a different version of how to go. Yeah, right. I know. He doesn't know what to <laughs> He's say. He's burying his question. It's the same question. Is it fun? Yeah, right. It's a positive but experience. But how did this get on fucking me? <laughs> how do you think it went? Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> how did it go? I'll say it again. How did this no, get on fucking me? We sent him out in the hole with a roving camera to talk. Talk to the guests. The guests have been interviewed every which what way, but you, I was so you know, excited. You were done everything. It was so doing. dramatic. Yeah. And, yeah. and then yeah. Christopher Cross yeah. walks out, okay. and you have this big yeah. Yeah. fat Ganji yeah. standing there with this bad camera going. Curly with so, the camera. What happened in there? Was it a positive <laughs> experience? <laughs> so what do you think it went well? Follow him in. You're going to go quite well. Would you agree in the affirmative? Well, Ganji's comments are the funniest thing because he's just Christopher Cross. It was a very good interview. I think you came across as a real person. I yeah. Job, I thought I fired you, Scott. I have a new job. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 somebody does like a half an hour with you, and then Who's Gandhi, getting you know. Scott? Ganji's in here. Well, Scott's Scott's got the video camera. Scott, taping Ganji. Yeah. Scott's happy again because now he's, <laughs> he's he off took the my pot. camera. <laughs> I could be doing the bumpers, but instead I'm getting the hijinks. <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? We show you. I'm with Christopher Cross. He comes out of the room, and you go. So, was it a positive experience? You happy the way it went? What's that? Right, <clears throat> yeah, I feel good about it. I mean, he's just he's an easy guy to talk to. You know, I didn't find him. Uh, I didn't find him mean at all. I'm trying to vary those questions a little bit. I'm trying to change questions. It. It's, trying it's to the same it question in different words. There are times I have some really good questions. Come on. I mean, listen, not everyone can be And you know what? None of Ganji's questions ever get on the air anyway. All that tape he's out there taping in the hall. <laughs> Could we get a list? No, None. it's never Christmas used. Cross. A lot of them got used. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. A lot that one, one day, Ganji's going to go to somebody after they do a half an hour with you. So how'd it go? And he goes, you dummy, weren't you listening? And smack them. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean, how'd it go? <laughs> weren't you listening? That's well, I mean, well, hey. then. Keep no, you know what? One day you're going to shock me by being creative because you're don't have a creative bone in your body. No, I, I do. And what you're going to do is you're going to listen to the show and uh -huh. you're going to hear me do a question and you're going to do a follow-up question to that question. Something <gasps> I, I didn't think of. I, I, you do? Yeah. No, I, it's never happened. A lot of times, hey, listen, a lot of times. new guest impressions of what it might be like to come in here before and then say, well, how did this match what you thought it was going to be? Was uh, it that's a same? question I do. You what were you expecting? <laughs> was it everything you wanted and more? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, I, you know what? I don't have time for this uh, now. You, uh, you get out of here, Ralph, get out, Scott, get out, and Gary, go take, go take care of these people. Get my work done for me. Make my load easy so what I don't I have to worry about this. What I was going to say to you was it is really an organizational yeah. thing. Yes. And it should be going through Gary because Gary yeah. should be aware of what is and isn't being done. Well...
You see how Gary passes the buck. It's I, a Scott problem. I took care Gary. of the boss. It's a Scott problem. <laughs> it's a Scott problem. It's a Ralph it problem. It is not an a organizational problem. It's a Scott problem. All I know is Ralph comes to me and says, Scott yells at him. Up, oh, Scott's well, back. Scott, I now, I fired now let me explain the situation because you didn't let me get a word in edgeway. All right, okay? let's hear it. I'm the, the, the reason I yelled at Ralph is because he walked in. Remember he said I was playing music? But you take a hit of speed out in the hall? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What? I just tied myself up. I got to take my hat off. Look at that. Oh, man. Now I'm here. Wait, go ahead. Say what? get out of here. Will you? No, you already what. told your story. Now just get out. <laughs> what, is, what is your side of the story? Okay. So I'm working on stuff, and he walks in and he starts talking to me. Right. And I'm not paying any attention because I'm listening to what I'm doing. Right. And he says, Can you turn that down? And I said, Ralph, I'm in the middle of doing something. Right. No, I'm not talking to you because I'm working. Come back. And he, he, he walked out all pissed off. No, and I said, here's What are you pissed way, off if, about? If I had, in a way, it's not all your fault. If Gary was a manager, Gary would, Ralph would go to Gary and say, I need a day where I can work with Scott. Can you right. find out for me what day would be good? And then they would pencil in two hours with you during the uh, morning program <laughs> here where Ralph would sit with you and do the music. And Ralph wouldn't even be involved with you. Here's but one Gary my... throws people together and tells them to get stuff and, done. And that, but and Ralph, that, and that's why I stopped why don't going you, to Scott. Because Ralph, I what don't happens when you go to Gary? You don't want to go to Scott and have tension. I, Understood. Right. What happens when you go to Gary and you tell him of your problem? Well, I, I told Gary... Did you tell uh, Gary or you didn't? No, I told him twice. I told him once that I needed these done, and Scott said he could. Uh, he said he couldn't do the CDs. He didn't have time. When was to the last time you said something to Gary? <clears throat> like a like a month ago, like month. three three, month. three weeks ago. So why wouldn't you go to him? So why did you say something to Howard? Why didn't you just go to Gary and because say? Because Howard asked me yesterday in the limo. He said, "How come I'm not hearing any new stuff?" So and you should say, "I'll him. get them for you. You'll have them tomorrow." What? What? what no, no, because no, because Scott, because it's a pro. It's still it's a problem. It's a problem for him to it, deal with you. It, it, it's like you give up. Why? But why? the reason you're having attention. a problem, Ralph, seriously, and this is part of your problem. Yeah. It's like when you walk into the studio and you don't ask Gary ahead of time, and then we throw you out. Right. It's because you're supposed to ask if you can come in. Right. Just go to Gary. Tell him you're having a problem. So l let's just forget everything that See, the real in problem the is and, and Ralph. <laughs> oh, sure, but uh, you know, it no, no, still no, no, comes no. back to Gary because it, Gary should say, where are the new bumpers? He should be as interested. He it, should know yeah. that new bumpers are needed. Are important. Here's one of my major problems. A lot of people, a lot of different people. See, I have a whole. <laughs> this is a mess. This is a mess, is. yeah. All right, Scott. Well, go ahead quickly because okay. I really am supposed to be doing I, a show. I, understand. I can't be doing you this. Doing How show. can you concentrate this is, this on what you're saying and look at that head? <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead, Scott. What are you saying? <laughs> it's sweating. Um, what are you saying? Seriously. I, a lot of different people come to me with things to do. Not yeah, but one you also person. yell at no, everyone. No, I don't yell at everybody. And you know what? To be honest with you, Gary's one guy. He can't always be the guy to come down. Sometimes you could take a little initiative, well, Scott. Of course I do. And work but with I mean, these people. I mean, if, if, if uh, John gives me something, and Gary gives me something, oh, and Ganji gives me something, oh. and yeah. Ralph gives me something. What then, is it, John? Then Gary comes to me. As and much says, as I, I'd hate to defend Ralph, too, but, but Scott, when you go in there with Scotty, you oh, just say, shut up. Hey, yeah. hey, Scott, I have some tape for an interview. What? What? I'm busy. What? You and know, he gives you this look. He's such John, yelling. You know that I'm goofing on you like that. I know I don't know. That. No, no, no. He's he doesn't know. No, that. Like, don't, Obviously, oh, it's not a good Scott, like, when's the last time you goofed on anything? No, this morning. Howard, and then he gets like this. He goes, John, listen, <laughs> I have this to do. I got this to do. I have Robin's tapes. I'll get to it when I can. And I'll call you. And that's it. And then he, and then he, he gets in four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he should but be able he gets to very do angry, it. so it's very hard to deal with them. And I know what Ralph's right. talking about. He's, Here, here's an example. Gary will bring me a, a stack of work like this yeah. and say, "We need this right away." Yeah. And by the way, there's two weeks, three days, four hours, and twenty three seconds till best of. Okay, so oh, what do you oh, want oh, from him? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> don't even get, give me, don't even get me started. Best of. Every time Scott and I go through the same thing, Scott is like a kid with a term paper. Right. Finish. Best of will be finished. Right. We're running at the end of this month. Do you think while that week is on, Scott be working on new best of? Of course not. No. Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. All of a sudden, oh, only three weeks till best of. I better get cooking. Right. And then he's in and a then, panic. And then he goes, I can't do anything. I'm doing best of. And it's like, yeah, but you should have yeah, done best of for months ago. You should have been doing it all along. You should be rolling off an hour. And the other, and, 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 hold on and, the other, and the other deal, Scott. Don't is, give me any credit for doing 21 hours of extra material when he was out sick for seven days. You get credit for that. Plus, no. another t the best no. of is ready Scott, already Scott, for two weeks from now. I don't know. No, no, no. Listen to me. You know, I was working my ass off on that stuff. I gave you over 35 hours of Shut up. Shut up. You got your credit. Now, the other 11 years that you've credit. done it behind, I'm talking about, and I shouldn't have to wait. <laughs> this it, is like the OJ no, no. jury. Scott's got it done, right? <laughs> but again, it's under the wire. It, this should, it shouldn't be... I hear what you're It saying. shouldn't be all crammed up at once. He Tom and I spent words, five hours looking at stuff. Gary can't, Gary can't tell you how to sort of regulate your time. Like, all of a sudden, like, you know... He you doesn't have, know you everything know you need to do. Even though a best of is all done now. There's going to be another one, eventually, and right? Also, and wait a second. Even so what you do is you begin right now. You start to run off an hour of tape, two hours a day. When you get into four in the morning, you throw a reel on. 
And, and then like, that's the only thing so you I won't got to be do. caught you, you at know? the end. But what? the rest of our work suffers when Scott goes on these mad crunches to get best of done. That's when every. That's when the yelling starts. That's right. when he's busy. Is that it? And al- and also uh, Scott. And that's when he starts yelling at everyone. Right, right. But you shouldn't get so you shouldn't get so angry at people. If you have if we bring you a lot of work, you should people this, look at him. Wouldn't it, you be angry? Wait, how is it, how is Scott? <laughs> here, do you talk about managing? how about if life dealt you that deck of cards? You talk about managing, right? Scott Scott's done this with me maybe three times, and he should do it every day. Yeah. Of course, Robin gives him work. You of give course, him, you it's give the him, same thing every day. Right. Robin gives him work. I give him work. You give him and various and, work. And sometimes that's when he gets overwhelmed, that's why he's employed? It's called work. Sometimes yeah. when he gets overwhelmed, he calls me huffing and puffing, and he goes, "Listen, Robin gave me this." Howard gave me this. Jackie gave me some stuff. Fred gave me some stuff. Prioritize. And I go, okay. Howard stuff first. My stuff second. Jack, you know, and I put it right, in order. Right. And if, if that's the case, I don't know all the people that are coming to you. You can call me every day and I can tell you what order it should be done in. And then you want I'll, him to do that? And then I'll take the blame. Scott, you want him to do that? Well, I've been doing that, so he would take the blame. No, so he I hasn't. Right. No, you've done it maybe twice in like six months. Okay. You never do it, Scott. No wonder your picture's not in Robin's book. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. What? Right, and you know, and you know the worst part about it is, I went by Scotty the last time they yelled at me. I was just asking for you know money for breakfast. What happened this morning, John? What happened this morning? Yeah, no, this morning you were screwing <laughs> out with me. That's but but I knew oh, you were screwing. Okay. Yeah, but this morning you, question, but I once went over to him, Howard, and said, hey, "Hey, Scott, I need money for breakfast." John, not now. I'm doing something. Not now. That's not even money know, for breakfast. He, again, and then he wants his breakfast. So, so then I didn't order him, and I said, "You know what? Screw him. He's been doing this to me for five years." This time I ain't gonna order him, and then, and then he comes back to, "Did you order me? Did you order me? You know what I mean?" Again, you, again, uh, it's when people walk in and in the middle, trying to listen to something, trying to work on something, yeah. and they start talking to me. I can't. Whatever happened I can't to do it? Whatever happened to? Hey, hang out a second. I gotta hear this. Whatever happened to that? He doesn't do that. I he goes know. from zero to sixty in two seconds. He, he, Howard, he hops and puffs like a four-year-old. Like, oh, 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 oh. He's a little. You know what it is? He's also he's he's also pissed off because he's the hardest working engineer at the station, <laughs> and, and nobody else can do anything. True. But he goes. He feels like he's he doesn't get any credit. Scott does an incredible job on Best of. Nobody's not saying that. The you know what it is? You know what it is? Good. It's come down to it's come down to this. Now I'm involved with Scott's breakfast, so it's like it's like <laughs> it's really it's becoming a joke. I'm, I'm not like saying. All right. I just, I, my last quote is my la- the last thing I want to say is Best of is great. What do you want, Scott? <laughs> I'd like an omelet. <laughs> is that too here's much what, to here's ask? Here's what I'm asking. Here's what With I'm tabacchi. asking, Gary. If there is a problem with Scott, you got to come. If you can't straighten it out, you got to come to me, me and then problem. we'll have Tom fire him. If there isn't that's a problem all. with Scott, that's all. And if there isn't, what what, what the union tenure you or something? Are you you're feeling awfully cocky? Oh, he's low man on the totem pole. I could be fired like that. Oh, really? There's, there's okay. three people here. And Scott's all the lowest one. That's right. right. Scott's a hardworking guy. He can't. He has his shortcomings. God knows that. Oh. He can't figure like out everyone, what to do. Like everyone in this room is perfect. But, well, please. <laughs> no well, one's yes, saying we that. Are. <laughs> Robin is perfect. Excuse me, Robin. So, aside from Robin, right, right. everyone has their fault. I lost my head first. All I'm saying is <laughs> that, lost my hair. Gary, come up with a system that Ralph and all these people come to you, you hook them up with appointments with Scott, okay? That's how we're going to do it from now on. Thank you. Appointments, that's right. All right. Is that good? That's fine. Scott, obviously there's a problem back there. I have no problem. John has a problem. Ralph has Everyone has a problem. You're the only one without a problem, Scott. I, I don't have any problems. I have no problems. <laughs> <laughs> my problem is, where's my next cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> you realize you've cut down on 20 minutes of prime smoke time? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. I hope. Uh, seriously, I hope you understand that I'm very sincere when I tell you I need this music. I understand that. All right. I wish there was another engineer that we could send into a room with That's Ralph. That's why I gave it to Sandy to do. Good. She so knows wh- how to do it now. I showed her how to do everything. Right. So whoever can do this work, I need this work. Then why don't you hook up Sandy and Ralph for regular well, appointments? I've let Gary that. do that. I've done. No, I've done. He sat you, with. He, you did that. He has sat with Sandy and <coughs> done right. them. So is he just being like a, a big crybaby? He knows that Sandy has been doing them. He has sat with her and done it. So before. why are they not in my room? I don't know. What happened? He gave me a bunch of them. I Even had though you give them to Sandy, why don't you? How come I, I don't I ex- end up with them? I explained to you what happened. <laughs> Here we go <laughs> again. Come on, come on. Just, come on. Over. just stop with this. You know, stop making excuses. Just, Haven't you sat with her? Let's just do it. Yeah, I've sat with her. And but I explain- what? That, that was like six months ago I, I did that. I explained to you the confusion on this right, batch right. of them. Listen, 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 Scott. I can't wait till 10 o'clock when Sandy rolls in. The guy, listen, I don't know how it gets done. Maybe schedule an appointment with Ralph. Do, do you think like once every month, me and you can just, I can no, just no, no, give no, you no, a No, 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 no. You don't have this discussion with yeah. Gary off the air. Uh, please, I, I, I got big Go things ahead. to talk about. I, I, I'm, I'm wanted in Texas. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> you have to make a I'm wanted in Texas, and you two idiots can't figure out how to work together. Go ahead. Out. Out and Z. We'll figure it out. Out and Z. Good night. For God's sakes. Scott, get my headphones working, will you? Uh, well, that, oh, no. That's what oh, I'm waiting no. for. He's, he's too busy. I'm oh, waiting for geez. you to take... I'm too busy. Right, I you. got bumpers to okay, do. Okay, please. Wait, the top of his bumpers. head is sweating. I got bump- yeah, look at that. The top of his wait, head wait, is... Take a hat out. Look at that. The sweat. His beads of sweat on the top of his head. 
<laughs> well, when he gets TV angry, lights, you, know? you know, he had to whip off that hat and because he, his uh, hair, oh. I mean, his head has to sweat. Put on me, will you? All right, get out. You're not even funny. I know. <laughs> okay. The comedy stylings of Scott Salem. <laughs> the hairy arms and big fat body. Erosion no. took his hair away. No. He's got like a river on his head. No hair. Yeah, right. <laughs> no hair on his head. and bald, smokes too much, and has to take orders from Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a life. This is what I have to do. This is what I have to tell Scott. I am going on vacation. you got to have it ready. I have to beg him. Otherwise, you know, we've cut best ofs. I've been cutting best ofs, like, while it's running. You know, best of starts on Monday. I have some material that he, he's editing as we go along. This, there's so much time to have it ready. This is, he's had since Christmas, right? We finished at Christmas because Scott was here for a week at Christmas time. He should have started it. He didn't. Oh, the birthday show. I'm very busy with the birthday show. Then it goes on and on. So I didn't even see, Scott gave me three reels of best of at the end of January. Then I didn't didn't see another piece of material to like a week, like two weeks ago. No. And it's a mad rush again. Let it go. So, all right, so tell me if you... Does this solution make you happy? See this? That's a pile of work. See this? That's a pile of work on there. Okay? When am I going to do bumpers? There, there, so there, Gans. Want to see how I yell in the morning? What did I do to you? No, so why do you do it? I got to go fix his headphones. Okay. Is it basically is it basically that you're goofing around or Oh you're yeah, I'm goofing around. I'm really goofing around. No, I'm goofing around when I'm yelling. Do you? Go fix his headphones. Tell so me what your plan is on how do you get how you gonna get these bumpers done. I, I'm gonna go to Gary. I'm gonna and hopefully Gary can set up a time to sit me and Scott down, you know, like eight from eight eight to eight thirty or something, and we can sit down and get it done. Do you have to be so close with that damn thing, yeah. man? Finesse it a little bit, Ganji. I need to be very up close. So listen, this is what happened, <coughs> and, and that that's about it. You know, I, I kind of gave up on it. Be not gave up, but you know, I don't I don't want to be arguing with Scott. I mean, I don't hate Scott, and Scott obviously doesn't react too well to me, and. I don't want to be involved with that like him. So what does he do? Just yell at you once you walk in? Well, no, it's like, I don't have time, I'll get to it, blah, 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 blah. I've had stuff sitting in his thing for like a month. These CDs that I borrowed from somebody that I wanted to get back to him. And he hasn't done them, so... So yeah. that's it. Alright, Ralph, well I hope your solution is solved now. Hey, my salute. <laughs> you hope my salute. You know, you're such a dummy. <laughs> what are we going to solve your solution? I, I don't know. When I get some sleep.